You've just heard that you're going to be keeping all of your grades in Canvas starting in the fall, and you're feeling a little bit freaked out. But Canvas is actually quite easy to use, and you'll be able to upload your class grades and get everything organized for one class in less than 30 minutes, which is about the same amount of time it would take you for any grade keeping system. Start with your syllabus and decide what kind of assignments you want to have. So for example, uh, I've got my quizzes and exams here. Oh yes, I need to add my labs. Um, and I'm going to make those worth 20% of my grade. So figure out what you want to have on your syllabus and basically how things are going to be organized first. And then you're going to log in to Canvas, which is actually rtc.instructure.com. Instructure is the parent company of Canvas, and this is the Canvas login URL. Once you're there, you'll see that you have a Canvas practice course, which is what I'm using for this. Everyone at RTC has a practice course. So at your practice course, you notice on the left-hand side is a navigation bar, and if I want to put my assignments in from my syllabus, I'm going to click on Assignments on that bar. Now you see here, I've already typed a few of them in. It took me about 15 minutes to type these in. Um, and over on the right-hand side, I've got my unit quizzes, my final exam, my portfolio. I've got 80% of my uh, assignments typed in. Oh, I forgot my labs. So I want to add my labs here. So I click on Add Assignment Group. There's a little green plus sign here, Add Assignment Group. And I'm going to call this Labs. And I can decide this is 20% of my total grade and I can update that. Now in my lab assignments I want to add some of my assignments for the labs. So again I click on the plus sign and it gives me an automatic name lab 1 and I can change that to lab week 1 or whatever I want here. I can choose a due date, I can choose the points and then I can click update. So you have complete freedom on putting your assignments in quite easily, naming them, renaming them, um, whatever you want in Canvas. Now you want to go and look at the grades and see how that works. So let's pop over here again on the left hand navigation tab. There's a tab that says grades. We'll click on that. And this is our grade book. And you can see that there's a test student here, but when your students are coming to your course, you'll have a whole list of names down on the left hand side. If you want to put grades in, I've already put, given the student four points here. I can go in here and I can choose four points, five points, or whatever. I can also just type in the grade and then uh, click enter and that's the grade they have. And that can be changed if you want to as well. There's a little uh, cloud that clicks up here and this is a place where you can add comments to your student. So if you say good job or work harder or whatever you want here, this will automatically go to their email box when you post it. You notice here on the upper left it says no submission. This means this is the, an assignment that is not turned in online, it's turned in offline regularly to you. Um, and all the assignments are no submission by default in Canvas, but you can change that easily. I want to show you also there's a thing called speed grader in Canvas. If you can click on that, and again, in the fall, when all your students are here, you'll have a long list of students that will appear up here, not just a test student. And you can click through with the arrow and give them their grades quite easily this way. Um, and you can choose it over here. It's the grade 1 out of 5. I can change that. And then down below, you can also add comments here that would arrive in a student's email box as well. And the last grade-related thing I wanted to mention here is also on your tab, there's a tab called Syllabus. So you can upload your syllabus here and put everything in it, but even if you haven't put any information in yourself, all of your assignments are automatically listed in a syllabus. So the students can see all the assignments that are coming up for them in your course. So as you can see, the gradebook is going to be a great tool for us to use, and you'll soon be moving from freaked out to saying, that was easy.